So I got the chance to go on a reunite the fight. Snow goose hunt in Arkansas in January. It was a really good trip. One of my friends, Colby Williamson, that I was stationed with, called me and asked me if I was interested in going. And I got to see some guys I hadn't seen in a long time. Met some new Marines, some new people that have kind of been influential. I was in a pretty dark spot on that trip. Winter gets pretty hard in Montana. I'm going through a pretty brutal divorce. Real brutal divorce, actually. And so I really needed that trip for a lot of reasons. I got a chance to reunite with two buddies that have been helping me a lot. And then some, you know, Jared Swanson was on that trip and he's been huge. And me moving forward through, uh, through all the stuff I'm going through, I talked to him quite a bit since that trip. And then uh, Ryan O'Malley is another a member of Reunite the Fight. He was able to give me a lot of really good advice and it really helped me out. So I think, uh, you know, with Reunite the Fight, there's obviously there's, you know, the the hugs and the reunite and catching fish and hunting and that stuff. But there's also like the side of it too. Like I can't speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself. But now, my personal life isn't exactly where I would want it to be. And having people that I can trust who've been through the same experiences I have and know how to navigate them has been pivotal in me moving forward. And that being said, it, it kind of instilled in me a great sense of like duty, I guess, that I felt that, you know, there's gotta be other guys feeling what I'm feeling and going through spots that I'm going through. So I, I was able to work with Scott and we were able to put together a trip and get two of my friends to come out, get some new guys to come out uh, I love being a guide. As, as a fly fishing guide, I get to share my passion. And not just my passion, but uh, the thing that really healed me, you know? But I get to share it with people that I don't get to hit. And so my ability to be involved with organizations such as Reunite the Fight lets me share the thing I love and the thing that's keeping me alive through the nightmare that my life has been, my love for the outdoors, my ability to escape and go out on the river, catch fish and just kind of be one, realize all the nonsense doesn't matter. Like that, that gift, I get to give back to other vets. So I don't really know where life is heading. Like I said, I'm still in the middle of this divorce. I do know that Thanks to the outdoors and thanks to reconnecting with other veterans, I feel like I've got a way better chance of making it through the struggles and the obstacles I have put in for before me. So yeah, I'm pretty hopeful. I know that I love guiding. I love sharing my passion with people. That's my big pipe dream would be to find out a way to, instead of having 2% of my trips be vets, if I could find out a way to make 100% of my trips be vets and really, really give, give this gift to the people who deserve it, who, uh, who've been through, been through a lot and been through bad places and been to war or, or even when they come home, you know, uh, there's a lot of veterans that maybe didn't get the homecoming they deserved. Maybe the system chewed them up a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like the people that were willing to give everything they had to America deserve everything America has to offer. So I don't know, moving forward, I just want to continue healing. I want to continue loving this country, uh, enjoying this country, embracing this country really thriving in this country and finding a way to invite others to do it with me. And then maybe, you know, they can find the passion and, and grow it in their own place, you know? Beautiful thing about fishing, like water everywhere. You can always get off that conference call or stop that argument with your wife and grab your rod and go outside and just let it all kind of float away. <laughs>